This letter says uh, it's on the subject of Jesus' bones being discovered. All right. Pastor Jennings, this person says, Satan is truly on the rise is on scholars who are now saying that Jesus' bones have been discovered and that he had a wife and kid. What is your take on this matter? It's a lie. It's a lie. Amen. 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 Now the devil been trying to debunk scripture since the scripture's been scripture. That's right. Amen. And what brought this about was this joke book, The Da Vinci Code. That's right. And then they made a movie, The Da Vinci Code. That's right. And according to this folly, Jesus never was crucified, but took off to, I believe, to France somewhere, or Paris. I believe he married uh, Martha or Mary. Married Mary. He took giving Mary a toast in France. In other words, this is their way of debunking or discrediting scripture. So, they go find some bones stuck in a cave. And on one tomb, I believe the name Jesus is supposed to be on the tomb. That's right. Now, let's dive into some earthly knowledge. Amongst the Jews, the name Jesus is common. That's right. Because many children have the name Joshua or Hashua. Among the Arabs, the name Jesus is common. Because many of the children are is named Esau, or some Arabs pronounce it Esau. That's right. right. Like Jacob and Esau. Amen. So this, these bones of this dead fella is supposed to be Jesus. The Shroud of Turin is a linen cloth that bears the image of a man with wounds many believe to be consistent with the crucifixion. Many believe this to be Jesus Christ, while some believe it is an ordinary man who came to his demise in some brutal way. It has been a subject of fascination and debate for centuries. While many believers see it as an actual burial shroud of Jesus, scientists have conducted various studies to understand its origin and authenticity. Scientific analysis of the shroud have concluded radiocarbon dating, pollen analysis, and microscopic examination. In 1988, radiocarbon dating indicated that the shroud dated back to the Middle Ages, casting doubt in its connection to Jesus' time. However, some researchers argue that the sample used for dating might have come from a later repair rather than the original fabric. The Shroud of Turin has become one of the most controversial pieces of cloth on the face of the planet and experts have spent years recreating what they believe to be the mystery man under the Shroud. At the Cathedral of Salamanca in Spain, a new exhibition has been launched that aims to portray the body that was wrapped in that Shroud, which many believe to be Jesus. The figure looks incredibly realistic. It is made of latex, silicone and real human hair. It is made based on data collected from the Shroud. Even the head has wounds and blood, which they suggest being from the crown of thorns. Though the exhibition is not claiming or denying it to be the figure of Jesus, they want people to come and view it and come up with their own understanding and belief of who the person is. In terms of other discoveries relating to Jesus, no definitive archaeological evidence has been found regarding his physical remains, burial site, clothes, or the nails that was said to pierce him during crucifixion. While there have been claims of discovering artifacts relating to Jesus, such as the Krail or the True Cross, most of these claims lack conclusive evidence. Overall, the Shroud of Turin and other related discoveries continue to captivate people's imagination and provoke discussions about Jesus and the events of his life. The search for historical evidence relating to Jesus remains a subject of interest for many researchers and scholars. While direct physical evidence might be elusive, historians and archaeologists continue to investigate ancient texts, artifacts, and sites to piece together a more comprehensive understanding of the context in which Jesus lived. Archaeological excavations in the region of Jerusalem, for instance, have shed light on the city's history during the time of Jesus. These findings help to create a backdrop for understanding the social, political, and religious dynamics of the period. However, conclusive evidence directly tied to Jesus himself remains scarce. Jesus Christ, the Son of God and the Messiah, was born in Bethlehem as prophesied to Mary and Joseph. Mary, a virgin, who was visited by the angel Gabriel, who announced that she would give birth to the Savior. After Jesus was born, he grew in the fear of the Lord and do the things that pleased him. 
He traveled throughout the region teaching about love, forgiveness, and the kingdom of God. He performed numerous miracles such as healing the sick, restoring the sight of the blind, and even raising the dead. He faced opposition from leaders who saw his teachings as a challenge to their authority. This led to his arrest, trial, and eventual crucifixion. Jesus was betrayed by one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot. He was then subject to a series of trials during which he was condemned to death by crucifixion. He was crucified alongside two criminals. After his crucifixion, Jesus' body was placed in a tomb and on the third day he was resurrected. The tomb was empty according to the gospel written in the book of scriptures. Jesus appeared to his disciples multiple times after his resurrection, providing them with assurance of his victory over death. These appearances included interactions where he ate with them, spoke to them, and even showed them his wounds as a proof of his identity. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 12. What is it? Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead. Christ be preached, he did rise from the dead. How say some among you? How say some of you? That there is no resurrection That there is the no dead. resurrection of the dead. But if there be no resurrection of the dead. There is no resurrection of the dead. Then is Christ not risen? Then Christ is not risen. And if Christ be not risen. And that, you see it's a change, it's a domino effect. That's right. That's that's right. Yeah. Now you notice one That's one right. cause lead to another. That's yeah. right. And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain. Then our preaching is no good. And your faith is also and vain. And your faith is also vain. Yea, and right. we have found false witnesses of God. And we are liars. That's right. That's right. If Christ have not risen, then it make us a false witness of God. That's because right. we have testified. We have of God testified of God that He raised up. That Christ, He raised up Christ, whom He raised not whom up. He raised not up. If yeah. so be that if the dead so rise not. Be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, if the dead don't come back, then is Christ not right. Then is Christ not raised. Then Christ is not raised. And if Christ be not raised, and if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sins. The resurrection of Jesus Christ confirms hope of eternal life and the promise of salvation for believers. He ascended above all heavens and is in the power of his glory. We as believers are looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.